carry on my experiment and my project, seeing if, uh, being a dowser, seeing if uh, churches and ancient sites do lie on uh, an ancient earth current, earth energy current. So far, every church I've done, it says yes on the dowsing rod, so let's try it here. Okay, with my dowsing rods, um, I usually hold them upside down. I think gravity is a little bit better for a more accurate reading, but most people do it that way around, where there's your preference, really. Um, but uh, when I'm answering, uh, if they cross, it means it's a positive, it's a yes. Uh, if I ask a question, if they go out, it's a negative. So, the question I'm going to ask is, does All Saints at Ockham lie on an Earth energy current? Does All Saints at Ockham lie on it? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll ask that again. Does All Saints Church at yeah, Ockham lie on an Earth energy current? On an Earth energy current. Thank you. I'll do a net. I'll just do a, a trick question just to show you. Was there a supermarket here in Neolithic times? Was there a supermarket here in Neolithic times? No, of course not. They know I'm only playing. Okay. I have an open mind doing this kind of thing. I don't you know. Um, there's still a lot about it that's well, actually, most of it is unexplained. We can't understand how dowsing works. Um, but some firms, uh, water companies, still employ them. You know, uh, someone sort of messaged me the other day that it was part of their course a couple of years ago when they were when they were um, working for a water ball company about I think about 20 years ago. Interesting. Okay. One more question. Is this a strong earth energy current? Is it a strong earth energy current? No, okay. Does it fork out from an existing energy current? Does it fork out from an existing energy current? Okay. Because I've gone this theory that there is a, a major earth energy current that goes along southern England. Not the Michael and Mary that goes from uh, Cornwall up to Norfolk. Uh, like a, it weaves like a serpent, the yin and yang, male and female. We picked up a male and female in southern England as well, so we're going to try and sort of, best we can, track it, which is difficult because it's <laughs> take a lifetime to do. But is this part of a male female earth energy line along southern England? Yes, okay, there you go. A lot of work to be done on this. What I'm doing with all this dowsing information, I've got sort of a a notebook at home and just making squiggles down saying okay I went here this is what it said did multiple answers and questions and then at some point I'll start sort of stringing it all together and try and make some sort of graphic at the moment I'm really concentrating on Surrey which is obviously an ancient hamlet because that's when ancient man first came over when the land bridge from Europe was there so um, yeah it's interesting so this is a little short video from All Saints in Ockham, beautiful church, lovely tranquil setting, there's no one around, absolutely no one around here. Now this church claims to be the oldest in Surrey, I think it's probably one of the oldest in the country. Original foundations go back to the 7th and 8th century, just when Christianity was now uh, taking its toll. Okay, I did a bit of dowsing. There is an earth energy current coming through here. I just traced it around the back on the uh, south wall. But it doesn't seem to be related to the All Saints Church at Ockham. I asked about five times and it's just coming up with a negative answer. So it could be another branch off the main current. I said we want to know where the main current is. So we have to do a bit of map dowsing, I think. It's a shame we can't get inside, a lot of uh, picked up something inside. So this little church is just next to a, a school. Um, but so yeah, it's only open a couple of days a week, which is a bit sad. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. A little brief video, I hope you enjoyed this little video from um, two churches in Surrey. All Saints Church in Ockham, Ockham's Razor and of course St Mary's in Stoke de Arbenham near Cobham where I used to work years ago God, that was a long time ago yeah interesting a lot of work to be done I think a lot of work to be done 
hope you're having a lovely day very hot and please like subscribe please leave a comment if you've got any suggestions about how to uh, do the dowsing uh, and how to map it out I mean I'm quite experienced I like to think I'm quite experienced I always like to hear um, other people's opinions as well so until next time take care